So, Assalamualaikum and good morning and welcome everyone to Faculty of Engineering Distinguished Lecture Series. My name is uh, Shabuddin Bin Mat from School of Mechanical Engineering and currently head of UTM Aeronautical Laboratories, or we call it as AeroLab. It is one of the UTM Center of Excellence. Today, uh, we are very fortunate to have Professor Junjun Miao from National Chengkong University, Taiwan, to share his 30 years experience and knowledge with us in aerodynamics. Professor Miao is currently is a distinguished professor in the Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics, National Chengkong University, one of the top university in Taiwan. Personally, I have known him since 2017, where I met him at a conference. I call it as SAWE, or South East Asia Workshop on Aerospace Engineering. Since then, we had uh, a lot of research collaboration in experimental aerodynamics through a platform called it as a SATU, S A T U. SATU is a South East and South Asia and Taiwan universities networking. It's, it is actually a platform to create networking and research with Taiwan universities. So the talk. The title of his talk today is Studies on Reduction of Cyclist Aerodynamic Drag. So before we start, I would like to brief Professor G. Uh, G. G. Mio background as a following. Okay, he obtained bachelor degree in National Taiwan University and then master and PhD from universities in uh, United States. He published many uh, papers in, in aerodynamics and wind engineering. In 2002, he received an award called it as Engineering Paper Award and Society of Chinese Engineers in 2002. So, with further ado, I would like to invite our Dean of Engineering, Professor Dato Dr. Muhammad Rafiq, to say a few words to welcome Professor Jiao, Professor Miao. So, Professor Rafiq. Thank you, Dr. Shabudin, for chairing the session. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome, everyone, to our 56th UTM Engineering Distinguished Lecture Series. My name is Muhammad Rafiq, and I am the Dean of Engineering University Technology Malaysia. Today, it is my utmost pleasure to welcome Professor Junji Miao from National Chengkung University, Taiwan. A brief about our distinguished speaker today. Jin Jih Miao obtained his BS degree in mechanical engineering from National Taiwan University in 1976 and PhD degree in engineering from Brown University USA in 1984. Since then, he has engaged in teaching and research at the Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics, National Chengkung University, Taiwan. His research interests are mainly in the areas of fluid dynamics and space engineering and has published more than 90 papers in peer-reviewed journals. Dr. Miao is an associate fellow of AIAA, that is the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, a corresponding member of IAA, that is the International Academy of Astronautics, and a fellow of AASRC, the Aeronautical and Astronautical Society of Republic of China. During the years of 2008 and 2009, he served as the Director General of National Space Organization, Taiwan. He was awarded with the Honorary Doctorate of Siberian Branch of Russian Academy of Sciences in September 2019. So that is a brief biography of our distinguished speaker today. Here now is Professor Jun Jih Miao from National Chengkung University, Taiwan with his studies on reduction of cyclist aerodynamic drag. Professor Jun Jih Miao, over to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank uh, uh, Dean Lafig and uh, Professor Shabuddin. It's my great honor to be here and uh, uh, share with you my uh, research result. And uh, as uh, Professor Shabuddin mentioned, well, we have been uh, working together for 
uh, several years under the support of Satu. I think uh, we will uh, get more results and uh, along this uh, direction and uh, make publications. Uh, and, uh, today. I think, uh, this is one of the, my interest uh, topic on uh, cyclist uh, aerodynamics studies. So then I'm go going to this, uh, uh, my lectures, Okay, with my, uh, uh, okay, I should uh, start from, can you see this, uh, my slide? Yes, we can see your slide, Prof. Is okay? The slide yes, is okay. Can. Okay, so I'm going through this slide. Okay, so that's, uh, well, uh, Professor Lafig uh, already mentioned my brief, okay, uh, background. So I'm going to move the next one. And uh, this page indicate, okay, how far it is uh, from UTM to uh, Taiwan. Actually, this uh, we have, uh, uh, I have these uh, uh, pictures from uh, Google map. Okay, so you can see that's uh, Qingong University is located the southern part of Taiwan. And uh, from Taiwan to, uh, UTM, I know we needed, I needed to go through this uh, Kuala Lumpur. Actually, I should mention this uh, Google map was obtained last year before I visit uh, UTM. And uh, I uh, look into this uh, Google map just one year. Okay, that was, that was uh, December last year. Uh, so less than one year, I know this uh, situation is changing quite a little bit. It's, uh, very difficult for this international travel. And uh, however, I, we are very happy that we are able to share this uh, research interest and the results through this uh, internet, uh, this uh, modern technology. Okay, let's move on to my lecture. So this uh, series of study was originated from the research interest in the critical transition phenomena of flow over circular cylinder at the high Reynolds number. So that's my original interest is uh, just on a circular cylinder and we are interested in this uh, critical transition phenomena I will explain a little bit later. Uh, and uh, then I jump to this uh, today's uh, main topic. Okay, from the point of aerodynamics, okay, a cyclic body is referred to as a complex three-dimensional contour brown body. So compared to this uh, circular cylinder, uh, cyclist body definitely is much more complicated uh, in terms of this uh, contour geometry. And uh, on the other hand, we anticipate that to see the effect of drag reduction associated with this uh, critical transition phenomena. So I mentioned again this uh, transition phenomena and I'll show you, explain more later. So in order to reduce this uh, cyclist uh, uh, body, we need a lot of research work and it still remains a challenge, okay, in cycling, cycling competition and the sports science. Okay, so speak out this uh, uh, drag, okay, so aerodynamic drag, we know very, very well. This uh, drag force can be uh, in term, uh, is expressed in terms of density of the flow and the velocity, incoming velocity, reference velocity, and the area which represent the object, okay, to here we are interested in this uh, cyclist body. Front, actually, it's the front area of the aerodynamic body. And uh, C sub D, which represents this uh, drag coefficient. Okay, so from this uh, relation, yeah, as we know, this uh, drag force affected, okay, by area of this uh, cyclist body and as well this drag coefficient according to about the rest. I think it's the uh, velocity and density we are no uh, further discussion on these two parameters here. We particularly interest this uh, area, okay, and uh, frontal area of the cyclist body and the drag coefficient. So with just a little bit more thought about this uh, area, this area of the cyclist body actually is uh, depending on or very critical to the attitude of the body. For instance, this uh, cyclist, okay, the, the, the posture, Okay, how he uh, uh, riding the bike is uh, this will affect this A. 
Of course, the body shape. Okay, different body shape. Of course, this uh, thin body or this uh, uh, big body or this uh, also affect the areas. Okay, and uh, this uh, drag coefficient here we can see that it can be affected by surface roughness and turbulence intensity of the incoming flow. Okay, so basically, I think uh, here we uh, have these uh, two uh, important parameters in mind and uh, see how we're going to do uh, reduction of the drag. So then let's come back to this uh, cycling aerodynamics. So here these the pictures, pictures uh, uh, from the advertisement, basically. Okay, you can see that. And the, this picture was obtained by one of my students, okay, uh, Wang Xi, okay. Uh, I should mention Mr. Wang. He uh, born in Malaysia, and uh, he has his uh, undergraduate study in our department, and also I guide, uh, advise his uh, thesis. And uh, at that time, he was the one who interested in this uh, aerodynamic bike. Okay, for young people, I think this is quite a fashion that uh, to have an aerodynamic bike to show that uh, how good he is. And uh, so when he presented his idea about aerodynamic to me, okay, I uh, had a very serious discussion with him. I point out, okay, the drag of a uh, uh, aero, uh, of this uh, uh, of this uh, uh, cycling aerodynamics regarding the drag, actually cyclist, okay, is more important than bicycle, okay. In fact, that's in literature you can find that, uh, okay, cyclist aero uh, drag, cycling aero drag, uh, actually uh, occupy about the seventy percent of the aerodynamic drag, and uh, only thirty percent drag was. Uh, uh, is due to this uh, bicycle. So, in any case, I think uh, Mr. Wang, he is the uh, one who uh, who motivated me, okay, to uh, uh, look into this uh, uh, aerodynamic problem. And uh, later on, Mr. Wang was hired by a giant company, a uh, well-known uh, bike companies uh, uh, in Taiwan. Uh, so, let's uh, explain how I started my interest in this uh, aerodynamic drag of this cyclist body. So let's uh, start from this uh, um, critical transition phenomenon. Okay, I use this uh, circular scene to explain. Okay, so actually it's uh, at the high Reynolds number. We refer the number is around 10 to the 5. Then in the 10 to the 5, then on the surface of circular scene, there, there's a boundary layer, boundary, trans boundary layer transition and the couple with the boundary layer separation. Basically, so these two flow phenomena interact, strongly interact, which cause a very complicated uh, flow separation as well as the separation bubble, okay, develop on the surface. And that will make the drag drastically uh, decrease. And that's what we call it the drag crisis phenomena. So all this associated with this uh, critical transition phenomena, I particularly mentioned that uh, yeah, this phenomenon feature is the presence of this uh, separation bubble on the surface and uh, in the unsteady nature. We'll go to see this uh, later. Okay, so speaking of this, uh, this is a uh, 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 plot to uh, indicate, <clears throat> to indicate this uh, critical transition phenomenon. So this plot on this vertical axis is the uh, uh, base pressure coefficient. Uh, let me explain. This base pressure actually is a pressure measured at this uh, rear end of the circular cylinder and uh, normalized, okay, uh, relative to this uh, free stream uh, static pressure. And uh, you can see that, okay, this actually indicates how low this uh, base pressure can be. Okay, the, this uh, pressure coefficient is minus, okay, 1.2, okay, at the, this uh, Reynolds number, for instance, uh, uh, two uh, times ten to the five. Okay, so that's in the subcritical subcritical range. Okay, in the subcritical range, you have this uh, uh, very low pressure, and uh, that's at the at this rear end, which causes a very uh, significant uh, pressure drag. And uh, as the, the speed increase, okay, in terms of Reynolds number, 
Okay, you can see here from the two times two, two times 10 to the five up to four time, times 10 to the five, you can see that this uh, uh, base pressure coefficient okay, change very drastically and uh, very remarkably. And uh, to this uh, Reynolds number, four times 10 to the five, you can see that uh, the, this uh, base pressure coefficient uh, can be even lower than 0 0.4, uh, minus 0.4. You can see there's uh, uh, several studies, the data I show up here, and uh, including some of us, my study cow is the first student of mine who did uh, this experiment in the wind tunnel. And uh, that the wind tunnel at the time was uh, just newly established. And then we used this experiment to check, to calibrate our wind tunnel flow quality. And the rest, you can see this, uh, how early, that's uh, Professor Bellman, okay. And uh, so on, there's a number of these uh, uh, ESD, that's uh, from the handbook, uh, engineering handbook and so on. So you can see that uh, this is the trend to indicate that the base pressure coefficient in decrease with the Reynolds number very significantly. And I should also mention that uh, this uh, uh, base pressure coefficient, uh, uh, if you uh, get rid of this uh, negative sign, actually that is uh, very much equivalent to the drag coefficient. Okay, so you can see that actually this is uh, as a variation of the drag coefficient with the Reynolds number. So speaking of this uh, critical transition phenomena, so if we are able to get uh, this uh, lower drag, lower drag, then that means we will create this uh, drag reductions effect. So let me get back to the wind tunnel uh, where we perform the experiment. That's what uh, we call the ABI wind tunnel, Architecture and Building Research Institute. And this institute is uh, government in institute, belongs to the Ministry of in the Ministry of uh, Interiors. And it's happened that uh, this wind tunnel is uh, situated uh, in our campus, okay, in National Ching Kong University. And uh, this, uh, the test section here is uh, by four meter by three meter. You can see this uh, 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 view, okay, of this uh, wind tunnel. And uh, we have this test section on this uh, upper, le upper level here. And uh, this uh, shows the um, the circular cylinder. Okay, I mentioned the experiment we did. Okay, which is made of acrylic, and uh, in the test section, and they indicate that the, the test section four meter wide and the two point six meter high at the inlet and the, to the downstream is uh, then yeah they have diverged to three meter to com compensate this uh, boundary layer growth all the way downstream. And uh, as you mentioned that uh, this. Uh, the test section length is a 36 meter. So it's quite long. It's a, a tunnel designed for environmental testing, for building tests, which, uh, okay, will have this atmospheric boundary layer simulation and so on. So you can see this parameter here. Basically, this is a smooth circular cylinder, okay? And uh, so later on, we uh, perform the experiment in the other wind tunnel, this is a smaller one, which is uh, 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 0.9 meter uh, by 1.2 meter in cross sections. And uh, we are able to put this uh, circular cylinder around the 0.3 meters. And uh, in, on this circular cylinder, we put uh, some textile material, which means, okay, we uh, have some, put some cloth on this uh, circular scene and to see how this uh, textile roughness affect, okay, this uh, critical transition phenomena. So we try, this uh, indicate, okay, how many, we try this uh, 38 samples of textile, different roughness, and these are the result, the data, okay, obtained. Yeah, it's a CD value, okay, uh, relative versus the Reynolds number, and we have this uh, circular cylinder, okay, and uh, installed in uh, this wind tunnel test section and with the force balance instrument here, which is able to get this uh, drag force and uh, then it can reduce to this uh, drag coefficient. And all these uh, data points, which are very difficult to see each one very clearly, is simply just try to indicate how this uh, critical transition phenomena 
can be affected by this roughness of the textile material. So uh, we have the 38, total 38 samples, and uh, this shows, here shows uh, some of these uh, samples, four textile materials samples, and uh, we have these uh, 3D scanning images on this uh, roughness. It uh, allow us to get this uh, quantitative information about the roughness, surface roughness. And uh, speaking of this, I think this is uh, a first step that uh, we are doing this uh, drag reduction study. Okay, we use the circular in the roughen the circular in the by textile material. And uh, here shows uh, a, tr a trend, yeah, indicate how these uh, textile materials can affect this uh, drag coefficient. This is CD minima, which is the lowest drag coefficient you measure in each of the case here. And uh, each of the case, you get this uh, uh, CD minimum value, and uh, yeah, which is uh, uh, affected by this uh, roughness. We have this relative roughness, which is normalized by the diameter of circular cylinder. And you can see that the trend here, as this uh, roughness increase, gets higher roughness, you will get the low, uh, this uh, CD minima, this is this is CD minima will get uh, uh, will, will get uh, this uh, uh, get this low value. Okay, maybe you can. Okay, I think uh, yeah. Okay, so this uh, give you this a uh, trend about this uh, CD min CD minima. Okay, very with uh, this uh, roughness. Okay, rough uh, relative roughness. And uh, let's uh, get into the, this uh, cyclist model, okay. If you go to this uh, cyclist model, I think the first one we uh, use this uh, uh, flow visualization, okay, to see this uh, uh, three-dimensional flow on, uh, on this uh, three-dimensional contour surface, okay. And uh, we have, first we have this model provided by Giant, okay. So all these models are digital model. Okay, we need uh, to have this uh, digital information of this uh, contour surface and uh, to make this by 3D printing. So we can get uh, all these dimensions and uh, I like to mention this is one fifth scale model. Okay, so by this model here, we put uh, in a water channel. Okay, it's uh, situated in our department and uh, we will see that uh, flow over this uh, model and uh, we have this uh, uh, ink dot, we so-called ink dot visualization to see this uh, flow, okay, very near the surface, okay. And uh, you can see this is in the, uh, around this uh, 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 hip region, okay, which uh, show this uh, spiral separation and uh, also can be observed by this oil film visualization and the particular we are interested in this uh, flow separation pattern. And uh, this can be assisted by CFD results. So we uh, conduct some CFD analysis on this model as well. So because we have this uh, 3D, okay, digital model, so it's uh, allow us to uh, create, to create uh, these uh, mesh, meshing systems for Computation. So basically, you can see that uh, this uh, one of the attempts to uh, study this uh, flow. Okay, very close to the model surface. Okay, we like to see the surface flow pattern, particularly this uh, flow separation line. And then we uh, have this uh, second model, which uh, is provided by. Uh, uh, organization, which is the TTI, Taiwan Textile Research Institute, and uh, it provides us another model, okay, so it's also a digital model, and uh, we have this one-fifth scale model again, so this is a different model, okay, All, and uh, we, we we make a by 3D printer, okay, with the small model here, and uh, one-fifth model, and I show you Uh, just a second. 
Okay, let me. Okay, this uh, video uh, was made by my student. Okay, it's uh, just to show how we did the flow visualization ex experiment. Yeah, this is called audio film visualization. We uh, uh, apply this uh, audio film materials on the surface of the model. And uh, then we put this in the water. Of course, this water is uh, with uh, flow speed. And you can see that along the time goes on, these uh, patterns, yeah, will appear. And the pattern appear here. We are particularly interested in this uh, uh, border, and this border line indicate indicate this uh, the separation line. So you can imagine that okay behind this uh, separation line is uh, where is the massive sep flow separations occur. Uh, with a uh, lower pressure, okay, on the surface, and that was that is the reason you this uh, pressure drag, okay, produce. So by this uh, observation, yeah, we understand or we can get have some idea. If we like to reduce the drag, then it's uh, uh, better. It would be better if we could uh, uh, modify or delay this uh, flow separation line. So basically, this is the idea. So what uh, we are doing. Uh, so in the flow visualizations, we get the more photos. This is all your film to indicate that uh, this uh, separation line on the back of the model. And this also can be obtained by this, uh, um, uh, uh, this, this ink dot method. And uh, in between, this is uh, by CFD result. Okay, so it uh, looks quite uh, consistent. I think a CFD result yeah, is very helpful to provide more as uh, more details about this uh, distribution of these uh, flow patterns on the surface. Okay, which is not possible because the resolution is not so good, and uh, this uh, oil film. Okay, with uh, only quantitative information basically, and. Uh, so these are the separation lines I mentioned. So we are able to see this separation line. And uh, uh, later on in the wind tunnel experiment, we, we like to uh, put have this uh, pressure test, pressure uh, uh, sensors, OK, on the surface and particularly uh, 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 in the neighborhood of this uh, separation line. And uh, <clears throat> OK, so now we get to this. Uh, uh, full scale, full scale, okay. Uh, cyclist model test. This is uh, with the uh, uh, Taiwan Textile Research Institute, okay. Cyclist model. Uh, so, speaking of this model, I should also mention that uh, uh, we did uh, this experiment first, okay, in Bon Common Institute, and uh, it was the uh, some years ago, and uh, with the support of the TTRI, and uh, we like to get some data, okay, about this uh, roughness, textile roughness effect on drag reduction. So um, you can see that uh, this is the model, okay, in the uh, uh, Bonkami Institute of, uh, of Free Dynamics, okay, in um, uh, Brussels, uh, Belgium, okay. The picture uh, with me here is the model with this uh, pressure tabs, okay, on the model. It allows us to get the, the pressure, okay, information on the surface. And uh, I mentioned that, okay, for this experiment, the main object objective is to see how this uh, drag varied with the uh, this, uh, textile uh, materials. Okay, so we prepare several this uh, sports shoot suit to, for this uh, uh, testing. So let's come back to the uh, wind tunnel test, okay, in ABI, in uh, NCKU. Okay, we're using the tunnel. I mentioned that uh, situated, situated in our campus. Okay, first of all, we need to have this uh, load cell. We designed and made this load cell and do the calibration. And uh, you can see this is the TTI model, okay with the bike, okay, 
okay install on these uh, balance okay uh, for the, the uh, important feature of this balance we have these two low cells which are able to uh, count okay this uh, uh, opposite force uh, the, the force in opposite directions okay yeah more details maybe yeah we can explain yeah in some of papers okay uh, speaking of this uh, aerodynamic drag of the cyclist model with the roughness elements, okay, we uh, uh, first of all, we uh, uh, designed and made some this uh, roughness pattern and just patched, patched on this uh, surface of this uh, cyclist model and to see what's the difference. And the particular, this, uh, this pattern we call the skeleton triangle, this pattern is, we found this uh, very, very effective, and uh, which it can be uh, revealed in terms of this, uh, uh, the, the reduction of the drag coefficient. As you can see here, this part here, okay, is uh, the, the blue dot, blue symbol represent the original, original without any pattern. And the red triangular symbol represent that uh, this uh, pattern three, with the pattern three. You can see that the, uh, over the range of the Reynolds number. Yeah, this uh, pattern three roughness element, yeah, was able to, uh, to, to, to reduce the drag, okay. The amount, the, the maximum amount of the drag reduction can go up to 6.7% or compared to the original model. So you can see that the, the effectiveness of this uh, roughness, okay, on this, uh, uh, even on the cyclist model. And uh, so, yeah, along this direction, actually we uh, did, uh, we made the cross, okay, we made the cross and the, the cross with uh, this uh, uh, roughness element pattern. Okay, as you can see here, so yeah, so we have this, uh, we call it the different cases, okay, so we have uh, 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 actually, we have these uh, seven cases with uh, text, uh, is a, is a, uh, textile materials and uh, some of these uh, text, textile cloth with uh, triangular cylinder, a uh, triangular pattern, the T, which it represent uh, with the uh, triangular patterns. Okay. And this uh, symbol O here represent original model, original, okay, cyclist model. So here it shows the part of this uh, CD, the drag coefficient versus the Reynolds number for seven cases of sp sport jerseys and the reference case of no uh, cross. So you can see that, okay, this uh, blue symbol represents the reference case, no sport cross, no jersey. And uh, you can see that uh, there's uh, some good, okay, cases, uh, nice cases, the, the case 3RT. Three RT is this case here, which has this uh, 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 skeleton triangular pattern. Okay, on the arm, at the shoulder, and uh, at the, this uh, 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 on the chest. Okay, you can see that on the front of body, and that's uh, make uh, this uh, drag reduction very very effective. Okay. Okay, so. In addition to look into this uh, uh, drag coefficient measurement, actually what uh, we did is uh, we are able to get uh, this uh, pressure data, pressure instantaneous pressure data from the model. And uh, here shows the example that uh, we have this uh, uh, result. Okay, the data from the three pressure tests on the left shoulders. And this is an interesting case here. Particularly, we are, I would like you to pay attention to this uh, 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 pressure coefficient. Okay, it's a IMS value. Okay, which means okay fluctuation intensity of this uh, pressure fluctuate of this uh, inst instantaneous pressure measurement. And uh, you can see that uh, this is the three pressure tabs location where are uh, on the left shoulder. And uh, also you can notice that, okay, at a certain Reynolds number, which is around, uh, I would say is uh, around the 4.6 times to 10 to the five. Okay, it's at the same Reynolds number, which means at the same flow speed, 
same wind speed, you have this uh, very high, okay, I'm is very, which means it's a very strong fluctuation, okay, pressure fluctuation, okay, takes place on the left shoulder, okay, at this uh, region, in this region. So if we look into this uh, detail, if we look into this, uh, so this is uh, interest us, and uh, therefore we uh, exam, exam this uh, instantaneous, real time, actually real time pressure signal, and we found that this uh, strong, okay, remarkable fluctuation actually is caused by this uh, uh, abrupt change, abrupt change of this uh, 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 signal level, as you can see here. This is signal level change here, and also you can find that if you compare these three signal traces, actually this uh, drop, okay, signal level drop at the same time which means, okay, this uh, is uh, something going on here. And if you look at this, something going on here, if you refer to this uh, flow over a circular cylinder and uh, in the critical transition regime, and uh, this phenomena actually corresponding to the development of the separation bubble. So if you look at this uh, result, okay, this uh, data points, and uh, we look at this, uh, uh, real-time signal traces, and uh, we are able to uh, identify or we are able to confirm that there's a separation bubble developed on the left shoulder at a certain time location, certain time instant, okay, definitely this is at a fixed flow speed, fixed flow speed, but at a certain time point, okay, this bubble developed and which make uh, this uh, pressure change, okay, drastically and uh, remarkably. Okay, so that's, uh, I would like to report to you, okay, originally we are interested in this uh, circular cylinder uh, critical transition phenomena. Now from this uh, data here, yeah, we are able to evidence, we are able to confirm that uh, this uh, critical transition phenomena also takes place on this uh, bubble here, uh, on this uh, uh, cyclist model here. So even this uh, very complicated geometry of this uh, cyclist model, yeah, you can anticipate that separation bubble developed somewhere on this model at some certain flow speed, okay. Okay, so some more experiments uh, uh, made, okay, with uh, real cyclist, and uh, I simply just show you here, what we did is that uh, we had some isolate, okay, and uh, able to uh, have this uh, test, okay, uh, aerodynamic test, okay, uh, in a wind tunnel, and uh, in fact, the more than doing this uh, uh, force measurement, we have put some more sensors here to uh, record Okay, there's some more sensors here to record this uh, cyclist uh, attitude and uh, his uh, 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 muscles and uh, uh, strength, okay, information and so on. Yeah, that's uh, related to the training of this uh, uh, cyclist. So this was done, okay, uh, early this year in May. So you can see that uh, for this kind of test, we need uh, uh, a lot of assistance, okay, all these are my students and the students from other, from my team members, other universities. So here shows uh, a set of results, okay, to indicate that we can, we record, okay, we record, okay, uh, simultaneous, simultaneously this uh, attitude of, of this, uh, uh, the model of, of, the, of the cyclist, of the cyclist, and at the same time, we get this uh, 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 CDA. CDA is called a drag area value, okay. We're able to get this CDA from this uh, uh, force measurement. I should mention that this CDA value is varying, okay, in a cyclic manner, which means it's associated with uh, this uh, uh, cyclic motion of this uh, Isolate. Okay, so you can yes, you can see it again. Okay, so you get uh, this uh, 
cycle motion, and uh, we get this force measurement also cycle, and that's a uh, represent a challenge how to reduce this uh, uh, drag coefficient of this cyclist from the data. Okay, so far you can see that uh, we have this CDA actually is the uh, drag coefficient uh, yeah, multiply this uh, frontal area. We have to uh, later we have to separate these two quantities, and also we realize. Uh, this uh, cyclist motion actually yeah, cause a lot of this uh, uh, force on the uh, force uh, on this uh, force uh, stand, and this uh, force actually is uh, due to the force of this uh, uh, slit, and this has to be taken into account later on, yeah, to as well in order to get the, this, you know, to get the net aerodynamic drag. Okay, so that's about it. And uh, I would like to thank you for your attention and uh, with my with the acknowledgement to uh, Ministry of Science and Technology Taiwan uh, provide fundings for this research and the giant company, I mentioned that uh, one of this uh, model, cyclist model was provided by giant company and the uh, TDI, <coughs> Taiwan Research, Tactile Research Institute provide us another model. <coughs> And uh, this uh, architecture and building research institute, yeah, we made the experiment in this wind tunnel. I show you the these are pictures of wind tunnel and uh, all these are the team members. Okay, from uh, NCKU, from another university, uh, Pindong uh, University of Science and Te Technology, who has the athlete, and also from Foreign University who design this uh, textile or cloth. Uh, sport jersey, jersey, and uh, you can see that they also see the student and the professors uh, in the wind tunnel. They are very happy uh, after the test. Okay, the yeah, mission complete. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so that's it. That's my uh, presentation. Well, I welcome you to uh, uh, to provide your comments. Is okay. Hello. Hello. Yes. Is there any question there? So the wait one or two second. The secretariat will 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 put the question in, uh -huh. in the, here. Okay. Any any question today? Give, give one minute. So no questions so far? Oh, they well understand, Professor Mel. <laughs> Either way, okay. Probably, Either I, way. I, I did too fast. <laughs> okay, you, you summarize your experience, 30 years experience in 45 minutes. Uh-huh. Okay, so we have about 110, 115 audience today. Quite yes. good. Yes. I can see that some of them are from Taiwan also. Uh, we have a, prof a question from yes. a, a former dean of mechanical yes. Uh, engineering. Yes. So you can, can you see, can you read the question, Prof Mio? Uh, let me see. Can you read the question? Um, no, I... Can I see it from the screen? Could you, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yes, okay, okay, yes. 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 What, what I mentioned, the cycle is used in your Reynolds number. Okay, that's a good question. I think that's, a, I did not mention that's, a, um, uh, we use the, the lens of the back, okay. What do we call it, it's a trussle, yeah. Uh, if I, can get back to my slide later on, or you reduce the dimension to any current diameter. They are the skin frictions and pressure drag and the profile drag in the selection material of the jersey, which is better silk or the synthetic textile, or in terms of foam drag, it depends on the comfortable position, okay, of the rider. Okay, I think all these are very nice questions. May I switch back to the slide and the, show this uh, my this uh, reference lens okay just a minute
Okay, I forgot to mention that. Okay, the reference lens, the critic, the characteristic lens is this uh, because uh, the lens on the back, this uh, section, or because the uh, trussle. Yeah. So that's that's uh, the lens we use for uh, as a reference lens. Okay, and uh, this uh, being also used in the in the literature reference okay that uh, if they consider uh, the Reynolds number based on this uh, uh, characteristic lens of this uh, the model okay or the cyclist and uh, speaking of this um, uh, uh, the, the the textile materials okay so far we are concerned So far, we concern are the roughness. So it's uh, really very mechanical thinking. We did not uh, consider too much about this uh, this uh, textile. Um, let me go. So basically, what uh, we Concern is this uh, roughness, and uh, so roughness we consider this uh, roughness height. Basically, what are we concern. So, and uh, speaking of this uh, comfortable or comfortableness of this uh, uh, cross, it certainly is an issue because it has to be wear on by on the human. So, this is another topic will be studied by my team member. Okay, who are doing this cross design. Okay, so I get back to the main page here. Okay, so let's, uh, um, uh, the question. Okay, I think. Yeah. The, the, okay, you answer all the question, right? I can yeah. see another, uh, another question, Professor Miao from Chan yes. Jushin. Yes. Okay, great presentation. Okay, can you read that, all right? Okay. Yes, the skeleton okay. triangle is more and aerodynamic commonly used trip uh Likra in time trial cycling. Okay, so that's uh, also an interesting question. So our study, yeah, uh, you know, basically is a kind of uh, academic study. We try um, many kinds of this uh, roughness uh, design. So how good is compared with this uh, commercial, okay, uh, type product? Well, we are not sure yet. Okay, so basically we, at least we found that, okay, the, the pattern I shown, I named it the skeleton triangular pattern is quite effective. Yeah, quite effective. Yeah, so for your question, probably I cannot answer more, but uh, I think uh, I provide you the uh, data, the result from our study. Okay, so far. <laughs> Any question from Secretary? Yes, Raja Izzat Shah. Does body shape of rider affect oh, that's the also a very interesting, important question. Does body shape of the rider affect the trail? Definitely. Okay, so I think uh, for our study, actually one of the objective is to select uh athlete okay candidates okay if we if an athlete candidate okay yeah we in in, in selection okay we like to see his uh, his or her body shape okay and uh, that's will be can be tested in the wind tunnel for instance okay just we look at the in the, in a static position with the body and uh, we see what's the drag coefficient and uh, all the, this uh, uh, area, frontal area, and so on. So that's the uh, that's the one thing we think is important. Okay. Yeah, from the very beginning. Okay, the isolate. Okay. So, so body shape is affecting, right? The drag. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. The, it, 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 it's aerodynamic. Always aerodynamic problem. Always the affecting right is that from Isuan. for this material using on cyclists what the effect from boundary conditions and its surrounding area like open area and its heat or 
temperature, any infection. So he may ask the effects of heat and temperature, the Prof. Mio. Uh, so far, we haven't studied this uh, heat or temperature effect. I think this is uh, more associated with uh, this uh, real isolate uh, uh, in sport. Okay, yeah, I, not I noticed that this is very important to uh, uh, to 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 in, during the competitions. If you have, you, you, you get uh, this uh, body sweating, right? So and uh, sweating, and uh, then um, uh, whether this uh, cross material, textile material, able to absorb okay this uh, liquid or not okay and that's uh, also very important it's uh, uh, also indicate a very important factor but it's not a study at this moment okay it's uh, related to uh, some texture uh, textile textile material and so on yeah mm, okay so uh, so uh, okay from professor muhammad afifi again is a former okay. dean of engineering of a mechanical in your wind tunnel test your model was vertical and upright you can see the question yeah. right right okay yeah, in the two of the spring yeah in body how much will drag increase with uh, wind incline position I, yeah is that the question regarding you have this uh, side of wind or because uh, in the spring spring uh that's the uh, which means uh, at high speed, right? And um, uh, we, uh, I think the question, the last uh, uh, words I assume is uh, on this uh, uh, wind direction. Wind direction could be two effects. One is uh, in terms of aerodynamic, one is uh, angle attack, and the other is uh, your angle, okay? So I think both will affect, okay, affect the trade and definitely need to be studied, okay. And uh, I think uh, this uh, really, uh, depending on the the cyclist, okay, Depend depending on the cyclist. So it's needed to uh, do experiment, yeah, with uh, individual cyclists in, in order to know the effect. Okay, that's my comment, and uh, that's uh, take a lot of time for wind tunnel testing. I'm sure, yeah. 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 Take a lot of time to yeah, do it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, which also means a lot of money. This is a, <laughs> to build the model. <laughs> it's, not our, it's not our town. We pay. We pay <laughs> an operation fee. Okay. <laughs> uh, fee. Okay. <laughs> any any more question from uh, Secretary? Oh, dear. They're from, uh, okay. from our colleague. You met him in KL last, last year from Nick Ahmad Ridwan. Dear yeah. Prof. You so you explain how, how the be... local boundary layer separation is severe and also work behind the rider influence. Uh, rider is there uh, also other riders. Oh, that's uh, also an interesting question. It's uh, uh, related to, yeah, one aspect is Hello, Prof? Hello. So, uh, may, maybe we lost him. Um, j j just wait for for a minute or two. Yeah. Uh, while waiting for Prof. JJ, perhaps uh, Prof. Shabudin can say something. So, so, uh, so uh, we 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 are waiting for the uh, Prof. Mio to come in again. But what is the question just now? Uh, what is the effects? Right? What is the effects? Of weight behind the rider, influence the rider itself. I think it is affecting, it is very much affecting the, the the rider, the other rider. But as he said just now, I think we need we need more experiment to verify or CF computational fluid dynamics to verify this this. But but uh, as he said also in the uh, talk that uh, wind tunnel testings need some 
some time to 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 the to do the internal testing and uh, the investments need some investment to build the model and so on so that's my 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 answer that i can uh, for the time being so he's so, coming, so back. Yeah. He's uh, coming back yeah he's, uh, he's, yeah interrupt a little bit so now we come back here is okay now yes uh, okay now can you okay I, I, now but uh, let okay, okay, uh, I, I, well, I, I think uh, because this is the most uh, difficult question so that's why it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> power is off okay so i think yeah this uh, question is uh, yeah two aspects one is uh, academic aspect concerning this uh, boundary layer phenomena okay it's a separation uh, and the uh, uh, laminar turbulent transition and also involve this uh, three dimensional boundary layer and uh, we Actually, by experiment, we found uh, this uh, separation bubbles development. So it's uh, quite a complicated boundary layer phenomena to be studied. Of course, very interesting and uh, very challenging as well. And uh, the work behind riders and uh, that is, uh, yeah, is related to academic as well. But also, is uh, when you have this uh, team, team, uh, they call it team pursuit, and the. Uh, not only single cyclists, then that's uh, another uh, some another kind of uh, considerations. Okay, you need uh, to consider this uh, training skill and how to how they team together, and that that's also being studied in um, or reported in the literature, and uh, it's also concern, of course, the concern in this uh, uh, cycling competition. So so far, I I, I can provide this uh, the information. Yeah, uh, just based on our um, our study, I know this area also is being uh, very interesting and uh, uh, being intensively studied by quite the yeah, some people. Yeah. Okay, we have uh, one. Can we have one last question, uh, Prof. Rafik? We have three minutes to go. Uh, sure. Any, any question? <laughs> Any more question? So they may they may uh, they may uh, ask uh, can uh, how satu uh, is uh, we can collaborate more in satu, Prof. Mel, on how yeah. how the lecturer can 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 uh, can collaborate in satu. Yeah, that's uh, I think uh, satu is uh, going well and uh, yeah so this year we had the support and uh, actually i think it's a uh, you get the more and the more project numbers supported by sub two yeah i think there's uh, one more one question more. Okay, one yeah, last question. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. is there is more accurate than wind tunnel test okay that's uh, also an interesting question. Uh, it's uh, related to this uh, commercial device, okay, uh, commercial product. The commercial product always can provide this uh, CTA, okay, yeah, from this uh, uh, drag coefficient, okay, um, definition, you can see that the CTA is obtained, if you can be obtained, if you know the, f the force, okay, and uh, the wind speed, CTA can obtain. Uh, our purpose here, our purpose in the wind tunnel, we try to separate these two parameters of these two quantities, C, D, and the A, try to separate. And from the, the point of view of this um, training, yeah, I mentioned that the A can be affected by the body shape, uh, affected by the attitude. Okay, so it's, uh, it's A is, uh, should be considered independently. And the C, D can be affected by the um, uh, textile, textile roughness and uh, maybe turbulence intensity and so on. So it also can be considered individually. So what the, we like to do in the wind tunnel is try to get these two quantity uh, considered uh, separate, separately, okay, and the wind tunnel test is, uh, we think is very, very important in order to do that, okay. Okay, I think it's on you, Dr. Rafik, now. 
Right. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Shabudin, for uh, chairing the session. And uh, thank you so very much to our distinguished uh, speaker today, Professor Jun Ji Miao from National Chenggung University, Taiwan. I've been there once and I believe that I need to uh, pay another visit uh, to the National Chenggung University to, to have a, a more close collaboration with your university. Uh, indeed, UTM is one of the members of uh, SATU. Uh, a network, uh, so it is good to have uh, this collaboration ongoing. Uh, hopefully, Shabudin will continue the research work on uh, wind tunnel. I believe that uh, Taiwan uh, National Chenggung has uh, the the largest wind tunnel uh, in in Taiwan, so it is good that we can collaborate in that field. So again, thank you very much uh, to our distinguished professor Jun Ji Miao uh, for your sharing session. We have uh, more than hundred viewers. Uh, watching your uh, lecture uh, today. Uh, so it's good to have a lot of viewers uh, in our session. To all of you watching this webinar, thank you for watching. Do stay tuned because we have many more lecture series for you. So until then, bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you, yeah, Professor Shafuddin. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>